Good morning. Today is Sunday, May the 5th, and I wanted to update this um, XPX chart with the Fibonacci spirals that I first posted back on um, January the 5th and subsequently did a couple of updates to it. If you watched the one back in January the 5th, I never really thought that we were going to hit this um, outer spiral Fibonacci so early. I actually thought we might hit it out here in the summertime, but here we are. Um, so let's go back and, and just check the other times that this spiral was accurate. First of all, there's two sets of spirals here. The first one is in red, and then the second one is in this purple color. And the reason I drew a second one is right back here, uh, it missed so it failed, so I thought we better set up a new spiral series for accuracy. Um, as well as there was just too much distance between one spiral and the next, I wanted to see if we could set up another set of repeating patterns. But in the first spiral, which was drawn from uh, a point in 1994 to a peak in 1996 uh, in February, the following February we hit the first um, spiral, you can see that that was a period where the market was uh, overbought. And then in April of 1999, we hit the spiral again. In fact, we actually, well, we hit it, and we stayed there for several weeks. Remember, this is a weekly chart. Before overshooting it and then coming down, it looks like about uh, 38%. Um, this was also a period of uh, where the market was overbought. And then finally, back here in March of 2000, we didn't meet the spiral, Fib spiral, um, before nearly double topping and then coming down. And you can see this blue line was the 50 moving average, and we fell below the 50 moving average and just kept falling down. Um, here was September the 11th, by the way, which I only think is, uh, is uh, worth pointing out, because when I chose the second spiral fib, and the, the way you choose them really is by trying to fit points um, and then hoping that that prediction is going to work out in the future. So I took this point here in um, 2003 and joined it to a high in uh, June of 2003. And the spiral went back and actually caught 9-11 low. Don't know how significant that is, just point of interest. Um, so here's the start and here's the end of the spiral sets and you'll see that we um, had a match with this peak here which was the market overbought um, but we played around on that fib for quite a long time and this may have relevance to what's going to happen now this was a January high then we went out following the 50 moving average up till we hit again in October and just stayed there for quite a number of weeks before moving higher and then coming down to touch that spiral even falling below the 50, the blue 50 you can see here, and then moving back up again to October 2007 where we had our famous high and it was the spiral uh, Fibonacci again remember that started back in 2003. So with all of this degree of accuracy um, by the way, this was a period of overbought as well. The market pulled back significantly to the 666 low, then came up and hit the Fibonacci again, the same one that we hit in October 2007, and we pulled back and to the 50 EMA and then made a charge up. Um, so where could we expect to see another... Um, another high. I, remember we've discounted the red one now because we failed here. So we're not expecting anything significant with this red one and we didn't see it. We had a period of oversold, uh, overbought here. Our next overbought was in 2013, right about here, and we continue to, well, probably right where we are now, and we continue to be overbought but we have dramatically moved up off of the 50 EMA, testing it one, two, three times, and now we've hit this spiral, 
which could indicate a high, but it could also indicate a period of weeks of chopping before we even go higher. So let's go back and look at these purple spiral fib matches again, where we had a series that just a number of weeks, I mean, it's almost a full year, where we just followed the curve of the spiral. And then here we had um, about eight weeks where we hung around the spiral before taking off higher and then coming back down. And here we hit it, but we did decisively fall back. So it's really hard to say what will happen now, except I'm pretty confident that this is a point of importance and that we do chop around here. Uh, and we could go a little bit higher after that. And we could drop. Uh, it's just a question now of looking for more um, overbought conditions. But this um, fib spiral, uh, both sets of sequences turned out to be uh, very predictive. Um, did I make a lot of money on this? Uh, no, because I actually thought that we had a high here and that we were going to come back down to the 200 and then meet the Fibonacci spiral sometime out in the late third quarter. Um, but once we had shown enough strength to pass by this point, then I started having confidence in this Fibonacci being hit earlier than I thought. And then I started to go long in the market and actually, you know, it, it, it did help me. Um, but it's telling me right now to uh, pull everything in. And I don't have a lot of long positions on now because I'm expecting at best um, chop and at worst uh, a pullback. But I honestly think we'll pull back very little, um, maybe 10%, and then we're going to resume higher.